I especially love the willful ignorance of this comment right here. As if capitalism is to thank for literally everything in our society. Breathing air? Thank capitalism. Eating food? Thank capitalism. Buying a shirt? Thank capitalism. Engaging in hundreds of thousands of years old human commerce? Thank capitalism. Critiquing a political and economic system that you were forced to participate in using the prevailing mode of communication in present day society to disseminate your ideas is not ironic or funny. It's literally the oldest form of human activity since humans began organizing themselves into societies. Furthermore, if you're gonna attribute the internet, iPhones, social media to being the fruits of capitalism, it's not even remotely accurate. It's actually more accurate to say that socialism brought about these things because the internet, iPhone, social media were all innovated in the public sector using public funds, government research for decades and decades. This began in the 50s, almost 30 years before Apple was even founded in 1977. By then, the internet was marketable, so the research and development sector handed over the technology to private companies who then marketed it and sold it back to the public who paid for it in the first place. If we had anything resembling a capitalist system, we don't, then those that invest in a product or a technology would recoup their investment once that product was profitable. But instead, it goes to Jeff Bezos, it goes to Steve Jobs, it goes to Bill Gates, who become the richest people in the world. Apple didn't invent the internet, we did, the public. Everything in the iPhone came from government funding, aka tax money. The GPS came from the Navy. Microelectronics and software came from government labs. So no, it's not really that funny. I'm sure the feudal lords, when they were being beaten to death with the pitchforks that they provided to their peasants, observed this irony too.